Hello everyone, it's me, Miss Mademoiselle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can transform a regular plank of wood into a cute decor piece. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to start this project, I'm going to be using some sandpaper just to get rid of some of that finish on one side of the wood. This should help my paint apply better. After the sandpaper, I'm using the sanding block just to smoothen it out a bit. Do you see the difference? Before, after, before, after. Anyways, I'm going in with a damp cloth just to remove that dust and you can see it looks pretty much exactly the same as before. So we do another round of sanding and the sanding block as well and then I wipe it down. Okay so now it's time for the fun part, the painting. So I'm using some dark blue mixed with some gray paint and I have a bunch of footage of me painting this thing so let's go ahead and get to that. So these are the supplies you're going to be needing to decorate your piece of wood. The stencil is optional. I was going to use it, but I decided not to. Also, I'm going to be using this quote. Now I'm using a ruler to measure out where each letter is going to be. So I just divided the total length of the wood by how many letters are going to be on each row. Now I'm going to start sketching out all the letters with a pencil. So this is where you can use a stencil if you prefer. I decided to freehand it. Now I'm going over the pencil with a white chalk marker. This helps the letters pop out more on the background so I can see them when I go over them with paint. And it also acts as a base coat for the gray paint. And the good thing about using a chalk marker is that it wipes off very easily with a damp paper towel. So if I make mistakes, I can just redo them. Now I'm mixing up the paint that I'm going to use for these letters. And I'm going to be using a really light gray paint. So I'm mixing together some white and gray paint. And now I'm applying it to the wood. Also, I should probably mention that I spelled homemade wrong. But don't worry because I go back and fix it later. Okay, here I go fixing it up. And now I'm just continuing to do that paint job on the letters. Once you've finished painting the letters, your decor piece is complete! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye!